James IC7300 and uh, we've gone ahead and installed the AC Mod 6 in it and um, we just installed the top panel controls and uh, here we've installed the amp gear your disable switch, your PTT connector, and your line-in connector. Over here we've uh, installed our line-in connector and all the wires. Our wire for the connectors here in the harness already. The amp here, we've installed the AC mod enable and the sable switch. When on, you can do ESSB or asymmetrical hi-fi AM. When off, the radio is back to factory specs and you can still use the line-in connector if you like, even though you're running uh, the radio as it is from factory. And of course, you got your PTT connector. So there you have it. Originally, Jim wanted the standalone unit, but being that this is so handy, having the controls here and no need for wires or the HDMI cable, um, it was a no-brainer. So we decided to go with this. Uh, don't forget to check out my other videos on YouTube um, of all the other AC mod transceivers. Uh, on our AC Mod site, we have downloads, uh, all the manuals for all the AC Mod products, instruction uh, for the radios. We have the frequently asked questions that has a lot of information that can help the newbies at Hi Fi. So you're welcome to visit our page, acmod.am. Let's test it out. So we'll put these, um, all the controls counterclockwise and uh, we're on AM we'll key up and we'll turn up our carrier turn up our carrier and you can vary the carrier from very low power all the way up to 18 watts We'll put it at two watts just to do a test. Two watts. More here and set the reference. Now we'll put the sig jump. Now we have the modulation envelope. We'll bring up the modulation control just a little bit so we reached the negative 99% troughs so there we go right there we're a hundred percent modulation now we can come and put up our asymmetry a little bit and you go up to 250% modulation there okay now let's try a higher carrier level. We'll take out the uh, SIG gen. We'll key up and let's put it at 10 watts. At this time, we're gonna go and look at this meter. That's our 10 watt mark right there. That's 20 watts. So we'll set our reference here for 10 watts. Right there, we'll start the uh, sig gen. And again, we need to bring up our modulation. Put the modulation up a little bit here. There's our 100%. Now from a 10 watt carrier, 
we're doing 40 watts. That's our 100% modulation. Now we can raise up our symmetry. Let's see. We got about 200% there. And we're doing about 63 watts or so. That's 100%. That is 200%. On this build, the RF power while using the AC mod should be kept at 75%. And the mic gain, if using the front jack with a hand mic, should be set at 50% while using the AC mod. Mm -hmm. 